right out the gate, look, it's it's probably no secret to you. Just you clicked on this video and you know I'm gonna show you something. That is something I've worked really hard on and have made and I'm selling. So this is technically an advertisement, except I pride myself on really heartfelt and carefully designing things to improve your artistic life. I'm really proud of this one. I am going to show you what you get if you order Jazz's Pro Skit. <laughs> So we're gonna go top to bottom, left to right, starting with the clutch pencil. Basically a big, fat, mechanical pencil. Sometimes having a thick material with a big lead that just goes down quick can actually loosen you up and get really fun, organic ideas out. Now, that comes with spare leads. Then we have the pencil selection. A red, a blue, and a green. You don't actually need color when you're sketching, but you'll find that, but also by having accent colors available, it just allows you to unlock flavor without dealing with the complexity of having a wide color palette. Now, these are really fun. We have a 2B and a 6B water-soluble graphite. It's one of those things where as soon as you see it working, you're like, okay, that's really cool. I want to play with that. Then we have a white pastel pencil. It's not a wax based, it is a pastel pencil because it goes down quick and sharp and bright. It just gives you the ability to add a, that 5% of punch which completely transforms your sketches into really professional looking pieces. So paired with the liquid graphite we have this water pen. It has a brush tip that feels like an actual brush as you use it. Convenient and portable, transportable way of using water without it being a messy thing. Then we have alcohol markers. A lot of you know how these work. I've used them many, many times on the channel. But you get five premium quality Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers, specifically in two ice grays, a light and a mid, two warm grays, again, a light and a mid, and one true black. This is a white gel pen. Now it looks big and thick, but it's actually got a, a nice firm and quite detailed tip. Now I'm sure a lot of you have used white gel pens before and have experienced what I've experienced with other gel pens, which is where it just doesn't seem to go down or be opaque enough. This is bloody magic and it's the best one you'll ever use. You just gotta pump it a few times before the first time you use it because it sort of sucks the paint down and it's paint. It's literally, you can get really detailed dots but it's so like reliable and it's the most amazing way to highlight and just add that little bit of final pop or flair or stylistic outlines. But this pen has never let me down where every other white gel pen I've ever used has. You're gonna love this. Every single piece of this whole system is incredible. Underneath this tray, you will see the beautiful faux leather, zip up, secure, and high quality folio transportation. Just look at that, how cool is that? Okay, I'm, I'm really excited about this. This is what my pro sketch pack looks like when fully set up. This is like a beautiful sort of felt material, so it always feels really nice as soon as you open it up and everything is gonna be protected. Even if you forget to zip it up, nothing's gonna fall out, because that whole, everything's designed so your artwork and your materials are protected, including your custom mixed medium sketchbook. So you can use watercolors, gouache, and of course, any pencils, inks, markers, whatever you want in this. This is your chaos book. This is one of those ones that you sort of have to hold and feel in person to know how special it is. But this custom Moleskine style sketchbook, this is the ultimate sketchbook because this is the highest end thing I've ever produced. So we're gonna use these in this video and I'll show you in more detail. I have created the pro sketch guide. I'm really proud of this. This is my personal guide. I've made every single page of this as an introduction to sketching and different ways and methods of sketching. So if you feel a little bit intimidated or at sea or like you lack some experience or maybe just want a bit more direction or things to try, this handbook will have you covered with examples and step-by-step -step guides, including some of the garnishes and little touches you can add to really make your artworks pop. So that is in this pack to help you make the most of all of the inclusions. Now, thankfully, we actually have more artists in this building now to show the mileage you can get out of the Pro Sketch Pack. So go on over to Insert Art, I'll link to that video in the description. Enjoy me and Alicia and Morgan as they experience the Pro Sketch Pack and spend several days just sinking their teeth into it and sharing the tips and tricks and the fun that they've had with the Sketch Pack as well. Oh my God, their art is incredible. All right, so I'm gonna get sketching with some of the materials and show you how I combine some of them. But I'm gonna pick up where I left off in the unboxing and that is the pens, because there's a few of them 
and they all serve really beautiful purposes and in really satisfying ways. First of all, we have the Flex Liners. These are modeled after a style of calligraphy pen that actually are brilliant for illustration. And I've included two sizes in here, a medium and a large, because they have been the style of pen that I use most in my experience. Incredible for doing outlines, and they have the perfect mix of flexibility and consistency. So you can get some nice line weight variation with thick to thin without it being too unpredictable and it feels really, really reliable. Then we have three art liners, 0 0.05, so a really, really small one for lots of detail, a 0.3 and a 0.5, giving you a good variety of very thin to thick enough for consistent line weights, ultimate control and really high quality sharp lines. Then we have a brush pen, and it is my favorite brush pen of all time. You have to use it to feel how incredible it is. But as you can see here, similarly to the Flex Liners, it has great thin to thick, except to an extreme. You can go extremely thin and extremely thick, but this is more controlled than I've ever felt with a brush pen of this much versatility. It's hard to explain how much control I feel like I have, even though I can go so delicately thin to so insanely thick. And last but not least, we have a 2.0 chisel marker. This is really fun for calligraphy, but it's also really fun for just stylistic sketching. And it's a great middle ground where if you want a bit of line variation like you have in some of the brush pens, but you need a little more practice to feel controlled or you just want something a little more solid feeling and reliable, you can use the sharp edge of the chisel pen to get the thin lines and then switch over to the full chisel width to get some really thick outlines. Sketching is unpredictable and I don't know what I'm going to end up with, but I know I'm going to sketch a bunch for you now and some of it I will think is okay and some of it I will think is really cool because that's how the process works. I'm going to share that with you and hopefully you like some of what I make too. Now going back to my original sketch, which as you can see turned into something of a Greek philosopher style bust. I'm really happy how it looks with just line work, but if I wanted to add a touch of color or give basically a, a bit of tonal interest and to differentiate some areas in the character, that's where I would turn to my alcohol markers. In particular, the brown grays look really good as a rough skin tone and then the ice grays look really good as basically kind of anything else. It gives the tone a bit of a, a hint of what it would look like in color, especially by being able to differentiate a skin tone from other tones. And you only need a couple to be able to just do enough blending to make it look really polished. Last but not least, there is the black tone. And this is great to fill in large areas with black where you're not gonna to wanna to use your brush pen or things that will put the pen nibs through undue stress. So it's really useful for that. But on top of that, because it's also an alcohol marker, if you put in some solid black shading with this marker, you can go back to the other markers and re-dilute and soak it down so that the black just becomes a really dark brown or really dark gray. It's that push and pull of alcohol markers that makes it magic. And as a result, with really not a lot of time or effort, I have a result I'm really proud of it. It just feels really cool and very refined, especially considering how little time I actually needed to spend on getting it to look so polished. All right, let's get even rougher. Let's say I'm really mucking around and just want to conceptualize some stuff and get some cool stuff happening quick. I love using these colored pencils for that purpose. And the reason I've included green, red, and blue as the colors in this pack is because they work really well in terms of clarity and mood. So this is an example where I've used red as a sketch for one character, a bit of a demon-esque character character and the red adds a bit of a fiery intensity and it has a bit more of a sharp hot feel to it and then the blue as you can see it creates a bit more of a softer cooler mood and by using them together by the time I switch to pencils and then later ink pens the color pencils really get pushed to the background they do their job of being the construction pencils so I can still work on that as the foundation as I add the details and really shape my illustrations but they just add a flavor a garnish to the whole sketch that brings the whole thing to life and makes it really Really, really fun and it's not any more technique or work it's just a way of approaching that that makes your sketches really dynamic and I think personally really loosens you up in the process and helps you be creative now spoiler alert if you're gonna go check out the insert art video but I have to show you the stuff that Alicia and Morgan have done over on the insert art channel because they use these same materials really effectively and in their unique styles and as you can see just those bits of punchy color it's really subtle but combining that the variance between the cool 
and warm tones of the markers. The results are so stunning and it creates a result of a sketchbook that shows the creativity at work but also is really fun to look through and look back on. As you can see I've done a really rough sketch with just my mechanical pencil. This is not liquid graphite the mechanical pencil so don't worry that won't be affected by anything I do with the water later. But with a rough construction foundation down then I can go through with the liquid graphite. The 2B actually gets pretty dark so you can go down quite light knowing that it's going to be more intense when you add water. Just blocking in some really rough soft shading and adding some water to spread that around and because it is like watercolour pencils you can approach it in layers. You can even wet the tip of the pencil and put it directly down to get a really smooth creamy and sharp line. After adding a layer of my 6B watercolour graphite and blending that in I'm really happy with the intensity here whereupon I let it dry and then just go through and add the final line work. Now you should know that you can actually do the liquid graphite after the ink step provided you have long enough time for it to have dried but I personally like the free flowing state of doing the shading in the earlier step and having roughed out the construction of the pencil and then coming in and adding the sharp line work later. It really helps you finalise it and wrap it all up and put it together in a really polished controlled way after you've done the uncontrolled and crazy really free-flowing watercolour graphite. And the result as you can see is just a bit more texture, a bit more of an organic feel and a lot of fun. I hope that this deep dive into the materials that come with the Pro Sketch Pack and of course the incredible sketchbooks and the pack itself. I hope you can see how much thought and work and quality has gone into this. And the best part is, after all of that sketching and all the mess I made, all of it neatly packs away in its nice protective case that feels like magic and keeps it all controlled and clean. Oh, that's satisfying. I've, I uh, am the luckiest person in the world to get to make my dream stuff and the stuff that I know that I love and I am incredibly proud of and excited to use and I know you will be too. So go check it out, the link's in the description. They're only available for a limited time. So you only have a bit under a month. So for those of you who might want to save up, go check it out with the link in the description. But this will be your chance to get it and we're not going to be producing it again after these are all gone. Otherwise, thank you again. I've said thank you a lot of times, but I'm feeling very grateful and I'm really thankful that you have come along with me. I think that's all I have. I've, I've said a lot of thank yous, but I'm feeling very thankful. So thank you. <laughs> and until next time, I'll see you later.